Hello guys, welcome back to SOED, and yeah, I'm probably gonna get back into reviewing uh, collectibles. <laughs> uh, the last couple of days, I've been seeing all this ridiculous nonsense on social media about certain situation, and uh, you know, I think I spend enough time talking about it. I think most people on Discord agree it's bullshit, and you know, this kind of stuff needs to stop. So it is time to stop, folks. <laughs> stop. Uh, you know, stop uh, consuming those type of content. Uh, you know, I, I can't, um, you know, speak for everybody, but I, I think it's better for everybody that we collectively stop supporting that kind of nonsense. You know, just let it be. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, you'll just go away. But uh, yeah, I, I think most of it is just bullshit and it's not real. <laughs> uh, I mean, obviously, that whole... Uh, the most popular guy, apparently, this guy called Mama Max. Uh, he's a complete fraud. Like, I, I think all his content is actually bullshit. So, <laughs> that will probably translate to everybody else's content. So, anyway, uh, let's get back into reviewing collectibles. So, uh, first off, uh, I think I have featured some of these figures already on my channel in previous videos. So, you probably already seen this. Uh, this is something that I... Uh, was planning on doing, but due to the recent situation, everything got derailed. So, yeah, uh, so I, I think you guys seen uh, Ryu, Fei Long, and you seen this guy. Uh, what you guys haven't seen is uh, this model kit right here. Oh, oh, oh man. And uh, these two. Uh, these all came from my friends in Arizona. You found them, uh, you know, over there. And. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to reviewing these too because uh, he tried to convince me uh, Hasbro has changed. <laughs> I I am not sold on that idea. You know, I think uh, there's some real issues with these figures. Take a look at this face on Scarlet. Like something just don't look right. I mean, is that the same face? I don't know. I think something about this face just doesn't look right. It looks really nice in the promotional photos. I feel like this is like a Super 7 situation where they have a very nice looking face sculpt in the promotional photos or the CGI and then the face come out looking a little weird. <laughs> uh, also can say the same thing about Duke. Although Duke maybe look a little bit closer to his Artwork? I know Scarlet definitely doesn't. It's something about... Yeah, well, we'll figure that out in the review. Uh, you guys already seen this guy, but I am actually going to review these guys individually. Uh, there's a long debate about my Discord group. <laughs> uh, they're saying, like, since I don't collect uh, 112 scale figures, you know, the stuff that everybody collects in the... Uh, uh, the group, uh, I should be removed from the Discord group because uh, I should go join the high-end collectible people, uh, you know, with these shenanigans, right? Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, keep in mind, none of, uh, I bought these, but these are on loan to me. Uh, I think at some point I'm just probably going to trade these in with my uh, comic shop and give my friend something and send it to him. Is really into uh, Gundam model kits, so <laughs> yeah. So I'll probably be uh, trading these in for store credit to get like Gundam model kits for him or something like that, or oh, Kotobukiya stuff. Uh, this one I'm actually kind of looking forward to build. So yeah, well, this is actually something I got for him, uh, trading in a whole bunch of figures in the last couple months, and finally build up enough credit to uh, get this model kit. Uh, but yeah, uh, I got Ryu for 15 bucks. I got Fei Long for 15 bucks. I think it's a good deal. And then I look on Lakari and I feel like I overpaid. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't believe the value of these figures like dropping, which is really shocking. I mean, these are good figures. I still think they are better than what Hasbro had to offer. You know, there's more paint and stuff like that. But looking at the Joes, you know, 
the Jills are twenty four ninety nine. Uh, these are twenty four ninety nine. Uh, I, I can see, you know, Hasbro might be offering a lot more with their own stuff. Uh, but, you know, there, there's a rumor uh, going on about these figures and the Legends going up to uh, twenty seven ninety nine in the fall. And that's kind of concerning. <laughs> you know, if it's twenty seven ninety nine, imagine how much I will have to pay uh, when I'm overseas, right? In the Philippines, they're paying like $38 for the uh, Hasbro figures. And I think in Taiwan, people are paying like, you know, close to what we're paying right here. But there's a price hike. Yeah, it's, it's just gonna be more expensive overseas. <laughs> I know in Japan, apparently people are paying like $40 for Marvel Legends, $45, 45 US dollars. So that is crazy. So anyway, uh, with that being said, uh, we're getting back to the reviews. Again, I kind of don't collect 112 scale figures. Uh, I, I think I decided on the uh, uh, the Jada stuff. Uh, no plan on these. I think I'm still going to go with the 30 Hasbro stuff, the G.I. Joe stuff. Assuming that if they're ever going to make Duke and Scarlet and more other characters in the line, I hope it just doesn't die after 2024. But uh, we'll see. All right, so anyway, uh, remember, guys, uh, vigilantism is bullshit. You know, leave that to the comic book heroes. Uh, you know, even though we're adults who, you know, <laughs> deal with these kind of things, doesn't mean we have to act like freaking insane children. All right, so anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.